Hello， 嗨。Hi Jane, hi. Okay, we wait for uh some more of our friends to come in before we start. Uh, maybe we give them another one one minute, one to two minutes, then we start. Okay. Hi June, hi June. No sound? Any sound? Can you give me some feedback? Because I cannot on my sound. My sound. Hi Julia. Just hold on a moment. Let me go check whether the sound thing is That sound okay. Thank you, thank you, Jane. Thank you, thank you. Switch off the laptop speaker. Uh, okay. Am I okay there? Okay, we wait one more minute, huh? Okay, hello, 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 Kayen. Long time no see, ah, Kayen. Yeah. Okay, can hear good. Okay. Ah, uh, we're gonna start soon. Ah. Uh, okay. Welcome everyone to ah uh, this online baking program. This program is brought to you by Creta IA CC. WEC WEC uh, stand for Women Community uh, Women's Com uh, <laughs> W a uh, Women's Committee Executive <laughs> I think so okay uh, today um, we're gonna do we're gonna do matcha azuki cake yeah I'm sure all of you know me right uh, if you don't know me uh, I'm Ivy Tan. Uh, I work for or I teach in PA for about eight years. About eight years, yeah. So uh, today we're going to do the matcha azuki cake. Matcha azuki cake, another name is also called green tea red bean cake. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, 
today the process has got the three steps. One is we have to bake the sponge. After baking the sponge, we will beat up the cream, the fresh cream we we'll use. And then the next process is to decorate the cake. Yeah, okay. So uh, we're going to we're going to uh, prepare the uh, the uh, sponge right now. I will go through the uh, ingredient with you first. Then later, when the sponge is baking, then I uh, will go into detail on the uh, in the ingredient. Okay. So we have so we have two yolk, two yolk. Okay. I'm going to show you how to do the two yolk. I will use an uh, extra bowl. That means you take another bowl. Don't don't bake your don't break your 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 egg inside one big bowl. Use a small bowl so you break. Okay. So how do you do your egg separation? Your egg separation is, you use a small saucer. This small saucer, yeah, you can get this small saucer from those uh, small little uh, shop selling bowls and plate and uh, fork and spoon that kind. Yeah, this is very good because uh, instead of using, instead of using the egg, instead of using the egg shell that you pour here, pour there, pour here, pour there, right? Then sometimes the shell here will cut will cut the yolk, then your egg white will be contaminated. We'll talk about the egg white later. So you use a small saucer, then you scoop up the egg. You scoop up the egg yolk. Yeah, like this. So the egg yolk will be very, very clean. Yeah, here. Okay. So you leave it here. And then you use another you use another bowl to put your egg white. This is the egg white. One more time. I, I don't like this way. Uh, another way that you can do is use your hand. But using your hand sometimes uh, is quite troublesome because after you use your hand, uh, you need to wash your hand before you do the next one. Then. Uh, some people like to do the egg separator. Egg separator uh, also not very good, I, I feel. Because the egg separator, once you put into the egg separator, the egg yolk will also come down together with the egg white. So, uh, you actually waste your effort. <laughs> okay, so we separate one more time. Use a small little saucer. Again, the egg white. Okay. So we have the egg yolk, egg white. Okay, this is the egg yolk. Okay. Second item we have is sugar. Sugar is 15 gram. So I have sugar here. Sugar. So I'll add in here, 15 gram. Okay, next item will be milk. Milk is here. Milk. And then you have your oil. Oil is uh, any cooking oil. So oil. Leave it here. self-raising flour. Before you put in your self-raising flour, we mix the mixture first. Okay? So, you mix it first. Mix. And you add in your self-raising flour. Your self-raising flour, you need to sieve. Yeah? So raising flour, you see, 
together with the corn flour. All the flour that you use for making cake, you need to sieve. Why do we need to sieve the flour? Because if your flour is dirty, at least you sieve, you know there's some um, foreign article inside here. Another reason for sieving the flour is you actually make your flour more fluffy. And it has it, it will trap some air in between the flour, so then your cake will be more fluffy too. Okay, you need to sieve the flour. Okay, after you add in your flour, you can add in your green tea powder also. It's up to you whether you want to sieve your green tea powder or not, but then we I sieve it differently. Okay, one tablespoon. We'll talk about the green tea later. We mix. Okay, mix well. Hello, Gita. Hi. See, the green is very nice, right? Very green. Very fragrant with the uh, uh, green tea, green tea uh, smell. Okay, we can leave this one side. next item we're going to do is your egg white. See, we have the egg white here. This egg white uh, is 80 gram. 80 gram of egg white is actually two egg white. Uh, usually how you count your egg yolk and your egg white is one egg yolk is usually 20 gram. One egg white is 40 gram. If you are using the standard uh, standard egg which is uh, 60 gram egg huh? so it's 20 gram 40 gram okay so we will add a little bit of the cream of tartar cream of tartar if you don't have if you don't have any cream of tartar it's okay you can add a uh, two drop of lemon juice or white vinegar uh, you cannot use black vinegar yeah <laughs> because black vinegar got smell and got color so you use two teas, uh, sorry, two, two or three drops of uh, white vinegar or lemon juice. The uh, cream of tartar is to actually stabilize your egg white. It is more um, acidic kind of uh, substance. Huh? So what we're going to do is, we're going to beat up your egg white. Um, you don't add your sugar first. Because if you add your sugar first, your egg white will be very, very heavy. And so, uh, your, your meringue, we call the meringue, will take longer time to form. So we will beat up your egg white without the sugar. And then, until it's foamy, then you add your sugar slowly. Yeah? You can whisk your egg white at high speed, so then you can get a more, uh, more foam. It's 
for me. Okay, just a moment. Huh? After it's for me, you continue beating, but you add your eggs slowly. Okay. Oh, sorry, add your sugar slowly. Another, you add another one third. 
This, the second one third, you have to fold. How do we fold? The folding part is important, as in, uh, not necessary to, to stir in clockwise or anti-clockwise, but it's better to be one direction. If you choose clockwise, then always use clockwise. If you choose anti-clockwise, then always anti-clockwise. Because why? Because if you do clockwise, the row small little bubble row, 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 row this way, right? Then you go anti-clockwise, it breaks the bubble. So when you break the bubble, that means you uh, you lose the air, air pocket, because the, the air break and then there's no more air inside. So what we do is, for me, I always use clockwise. One, uh, one direction, one direction, use a very uh, light stroke and then from bottom to up, from side to side like that. And then for the second, Folding, this is the second folding, meaning I add the second time, right? Second time, don't need to be 100% a fold. If you do 100% fold, then what happens is uh, when you add the third time, it's overfold already. Then your your cake, your sponge cake, your chiffon can or sponge cake will, will, will somehow uh, not so fluffy, okay? This is, uh, you can see from the other camera, see? This is how it is. Just like the marble effect enough. Then the last fold. Last fold, huh? So last fold same with a with a gentle stroke from bottom to up and only fold those places with white, white, uh, egg white. Very important in this is you do not overfold. Hello, good afternoon. <laughs> KS Pam. Okay, once you see there's no more white, no more egg white, you can stop. Don't overfold. Huh? So your, your mixture should be very uh, fluffy kind. Yeah, you see? It's not uh, it's not watery. It should be it, it should be like a hair mush kind of mixed, uh, a texture, very fluffy. And then we will put it in the baking tin to bake. Okay, I will explain to you uh, about this baking tin also later. So, If you can handle this uh, green tea base, this sponge, you can you can do any other uh, sponge. Yeah, using the same method, you do any other sponge. Instead of green tea, you may want to add uh, your coffee or your chocolate. Okay, then go to the side first. Let's see, go to the side first. Spread to the side. It's not a. Uh, it's. It's not very watery kind. Eh? Spread to the side first. And please do not over overhandle this part also. Some uh, some students like to overhandle this part, then become all the air also gone, then become the better very very watery. Okay. 
We use an angle spatula and then you just flatten it. We flatten it nicely. Before you prepare all your ingredients, you have to on your oven to preheat. So just now, before it, I have already uh, on my oven to 190. So we are going to bake this, this for about 10 minutes. Yeah. So I'm going to send to the oven. Before you send, you just give a one knock. So all the big bubble will disappear. Okay, so we have uh, done our sponge. Easy, right? <laughs> Not too difficult, but uh, please bear in mind, your meringue, that means your egg white is very, very important. Uh, do not, do not overfold when you do the fold, folding in. Uh, your egg white also cannot uh, beat until uh, too stiff. When it's too stiff, it's very difficult to incorporate. Okay, so I'm going to uh, uh, brief you on the ingredient that we used just now. Okay, for egg, I use a, a 65 gram egg. So when I take off the shell, minus away the shell, it will be about... 50 something to 60 gram so uh, I use I, I buy from the supermarket 65 gram egg yeah so the egg yolk is about 40 gram then the sugar sugar we use caster sugar why we use caster sugar is because if you use fine sugar not that you cannot use you can use but because fine sugar does not uh, uh, does not melt down so fast you know so wait uh, okay so it doesn't uh, melt down too fast then um, you you buy the caster sugar but caster sugar is uh, quite expensive as in uh, the price is twice the fine sugar uh, caster sugar one kilo is about 280 and fine sugar is about 150 something like that yeah so uh, caster sugar you only do for baking if you want to drink your kopi uh, uh, don't use caster sugar because it's very expensive then uh for milk i use uh this this milk this is the milk that i use yeah milk for oil oil okay any cooking oil can but try not to use those cooking oil with smell for example what smell uh Peanut smell, sesame smell, coconut smell, olive smell, all kind of smell. Uh, so you don't, um, you don't use those kind of oil. Yeah, you use uh, canola oil, sunflower oil, rice bread, uh, those cooking oil. Uh, I don't know, sunflower oil or huh? corn oil. So you can use those, but don't use those with smell. Huh? And don't use those with color, what carrot oil or this don't. Okay. Then cell raising flour. Um, today I use this one is a uh, <laughs> uh, cell raising flour. Huh? Okay, cell raising flour. Let's talk about cell raising flour. Cell raising flour. If you are using cell raising flour, don't need to use any baking powder. But if you are using plain flour or cake flour, then you need to use baking powder to replace as a uh, cell raising flour. Uh, how much? Is how much uh, cell raising uh, baking powder inside here? I don't know because they did put lifting agent, but they don't tell you the percentage. So if you are using cake flour or uh, plain flour from this recipe, you can always add one quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Yeah, don't need too much because uh, our flour is very little only. Yeah, okay, this one, uh, cell raising flour. 
then we have we have a little bit of corn flour corn flour uh, i use about seven gram to mix into the self raising flour then green tea powder green tea powder i have here and here This one, this one is a uh, red man, red man green tea powder. This is a bakeable one. So if you want to make your uh, cookie or your cake or whatever, this bakeable green tea powder. But you can also use this one. This one is the matcha hagorumu. No, this one. Also bought from red man. But because uh, this one, uh, this is more expensive actually. So, but you do not buy uh, the green tea, then you keep. You see, this one has not expired, but the color has changed. So, I don't want to use, so I went to get a new one. You see, the color has changed. So, this is the green tea from this, this Japanese one. And this is the green tea color. They are totally different color. So, you cannot get the green tea color if you use already oxidized uh, oxidized uh, green tea you see you can see right the color very different this is very brownish color so when i bake the uh, sponge uh, with this one it's a little bit brown color very not nice color so i went to get this one which is a uh, uh, nicer color nicer green huh? okay Okay, so green tea powder. So any question on the, the first part of the ingredient, A part of the ingredient? A part of the ingredient, anybody got any question? Well, somebody asked. Okay, uh, if you all can help out, uh, can help out with your, your friend because uh, some of them don't know how to watch. So just tell them to log into Creta I W E C. Then uh, they need to refresh your page. Then you, they will see the live there. Please help. Hello, hi. Huh? So please help to uh, to to tell your friend how to get into the W E C uh, this this uh, Facebook to watch the live. So this is the green tea. Okay. Okay, just now you saw me putting you saw me putting the uh, cake batter onto this tray, right? So it's actually this tray. This tray is this tray is thirteen by nine. Thirteen by nine. Yeah. Then we need a baking paper. Baking paper. So what you do is you cut you cut the baking paper. You cut the baking paper. You can use you can uh, buy this baking paper from uh, the ABC shop. ABC those those uh, so very cheap thing one. Eh? <laughs> ABC shop. This uh, baking paper costs you uh, one dollar. 10 cent or something like that always out of stock yeah because it's very uh, very useful so so you cut a piece of uh, baking paper then let me cut that cut and then you apply oil here you apply oil. Uh, if you don't have a spray like mine, you can always use the cooking oil. Just drip, and then you just use use the kitchen towel to just just apply. So I apply oil. Apply oil here. Then after that, you put the paper and make sure it sticks. Make sure it stick like this. Okay. So why do we put paper? Why do we put oil here? Here. 
uh, you can always don't put oil, right? No, you must put oil. If you don't put oil, if what is going to happen is, it's very slippery. It's very slippery. So, when you pour your batter in, this thing will move. So, when it moves, it's very messy. So, it's very difficult for you to dig into the batter and pull the, pull the paper. And then the, the batter will run all over the place. So, you have to use the tray, apply oil, put the paper on it. And after you put the paper on it, make sure it's flat. Huh? And here, this part, don't need to apply oil anymore. Yeah. The purpose is this paper is a waxy paper so it doesn't stick anymore so you don't have to put um any more oil okay huh this one can uh? Uh, so this one is actually you uh prepare beforehand uh what you prepare prepare beforehand before you prepare all your ingredient is uh you on your oven you on your oven to 190 degrees standby and then you start to mix and then you also prepare this before you mix also. So the two items you prepare first. If not, after that you can gabo ah. <laughs> so if you prepare this ready, haven't prepared your oven, then when you're on your oven, I mean sorry, when you want to use the oven, your oven not ready, then you have to sit there and then this one sit there and wait, 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 wait for your oven. Then your oven, uh by the time ready, your this thing already melt down a bit ready. So uh, it's better to get the two things, the two items ready before you start mixing. And before you mix, uh, you also have to prepare all your ingredients. Uh. Don't after that, uh, my milk not ready, then go to the fish and take your milk. And then, uh, no, not like that. Everything prepared properly, then we start. Okay? Yeah. So another thing I want to uh, just highlight to you is uh, the egg. Um, egg that I use, I always use room temperature. I always take from... The milk, the egg, I take out from the fridge and then I just leave it outside for maybe half an hour or uh, half an hour or uh, more. Okay, you hear that tea, 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 uh, is the cake is ready. Okay, so when the cake is ready, what we have to do is you need a, a cooling rack. Yeah, this is a cooling rack. Okay, I'm going to collect the cake. Uh. Okay, once it's out from the oven, you cut. Okay, you cut. And then, you put onto your wire rack. Just move, release, release the baking tray. you tear out the paper don't throw away the paper you put it back again that very troublesome right <laughs> no because uh, we tear this thing out so then it's released from the cake and then we don't want the cake to expose to the air corn or the air too much so we just cover it so it let it cool down yeah like this just just leave it on top just cool down I'm going to send this for cooling while we prepare the cream, okay? Okay, uh, just now we were talking about the ingredient halfway out. Uh, 
uh, we were talking about the ingredient. Then egg white. We talk about uh, until the green tea powder. Then your egg white. Egg white is two egg white. For 80 grams is two egg white. Then sugar is the same. Caster sugar. Uh, then you have your cream of tartar. Uh, like I said just now, cream of tartar. You, if you don't have cream of tartar, you use uh, two drops of lemon juice and or two drops of white vinegar. Uh, don't use black vinegar. Huh? Then for filling itself, the filling is whipped cream. What kind of whipped cream do you do I use? This is the whipped cream that I use. It's whipped cream, uh, red bean. Okay, let's talk about red bean. This is the red bean. This is the Japanese red bean, azuki bean. Azuki bean. This one you can get from uh, red red man but this one is not so cheap man. this one i think is uh five to six dollars one packet 400 gram but i find this red bean very very sweet very sweet so what i did was uh i rinse it with water then it become like that yeah put here you can see it from here yeah yeah okay i rinse this with water so it's not so sweet. This this whole packet is super super sweet. Yeah. Okay. So red bean. Uh, then alternatively, what you can do is you can buy kidney bean. If you don't like this kind of red bean, you buy kidney bean. This is a kidney bean. This one uh, you can get from supermarket. One can will cost you about one dollar, maybe one dollar forty cent or something like that. Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's a kidney bean. It's also sweet because this has a syrup. It's called kacang merah. But uh, there's another brand that sell a uh, non-sweetened one. But that one is salty. <laughs> so up to you. But uh, I think this one is not bad. This one is not bad. So this one, the, the, the bean is like this. So it's up to you whether you want to use uh, the red bean, this, this type of red bean, or you want to use the canned red bean, the kidney red bean. Yeah, like this. This one. Yeah, I can see. You can see? Yeah, okay. You can you can either buy this or this. Another way is to cook your own red bean. So for cooking red bean, I have actually put the recipe there. Red bean 100 gram, water 800 gram, and then sugar. So what you do is I won't be cooking the red bean today because uh, I think uh, it won't be, even if I demo for you, it won't be ready for use. So you cook the red bean with the water. Then when the red bean is uh, soft ready, you throw away the water. Then you add your, your sugar. Then continue cook for a little while. When you sweet already, then you scoop it up and then you put uh, to, to cool down. Put aside to cool down. Okay? So after that, uh, we will prepare the whipped cream. Whipped cream. Let's just talk about whipped cream. Can you can cook your own red bean? Yes, yes. I just uh, repeat. <laughs> uh, you cook your own red bean. This whipped cream, uh, this whipped cream is whipped topping cream. Um, this is non dairy. Non dairy means um, it is not from the animal fat. Uh. So, and it is sweetened. This kind, when, whenever you use non dairy cream, it is very white white in color um, but it's sweetened so if you use dairy cream dairy cream the color is a little bit off white that means it, it has a little bit yellowish tint in there uh, that kind of dairy cream is um, is uh, how do you call that no sugar no sugar but dairy cream is more difficult to handle non-dairy cream that means this white one is easier to handle and the taste, this is lighter. Uh, dairy cream taste is slightly heavier. But uh, I, I prefer dairy cream. <laughs> dairy cream has got this buttery smell and uh, the taste, which is uh, what I like. <laughs> okay. Uh, anybody got any other question? Okay, so we have this uh, whipped cream. We have uh, red bean that you can 
choose you want to use kacang merah also can azuki bean also can uh, cook your own red bean also can for whipped cream for uh, japanese green tea don't use dairy cream because the taste doesn't really match the uh, non-dairy better not dairy lighter because the japanese green tea is a lighter taste okay so uh, we're going to whip up the cream soon cream the cream uh, today i use uh, slightly um, lesser uh, in your recipe i put 350 gram but uh, we actually don't need so much cream so i have cut down half of it so i use 100 about 180 gram of uh, whipped cream so i'm going to show you uh, the whipped cream my whipped cream is in my fridge huh? Always keep your whipped cream chill, cold, yeah? Uh, if it's outside too long, uh, room temperature, sometimes it's very difficult for you to whip. Okay, uh, just wait for me a while. I just clear up the, the whipping and wash a bit. you hope everybody had uh, your lunch already huh <laughs> just now the rain the the sky is quite dark so I was so worried about the rain not because I need to go to somewhere that I need to carry umbrella because if the rain is too heavy and when the lightning strikes sometime Sometimes my oven get uh, get get the uh, electric shock, <laughs> get blacked out. Yeah, just feel free, just feel free to just uh, put your question. Okay, so we have our whipped cream to whip now. See, my whipped cream is still a bit frozen. I should put the whipped cream the non-dairy whipped cream inside the freezer but uh, just for your info non-dairy whipped cream you can put in the freezer but dairy cream cannot put in the freezer if you put your dairy cream in your freezer then it will become separated so you cannot use it anymore yes we can have i want to join also <laughs> Who wants to have a who wants to have a party ah? Uh, we can Connie 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 you say you wanna have party ah? I I want to join also ah. Okay yeah Connie. <laughs> okay thank you thank you for coming and welcome welcome on behalf of uh, Greater ICC with uh, WEC. Uh, welcome everybody to join this uh, online baking class. Okay. okay so we're going to whip our cream. So, if not, you cannot see. Uh. You can see from the smaller picture. So, you use a high speed to whip, whip until it's firm. You notice I use a metal bowl to put inside the cream, so then my cream stay cold. <laughs> yeah, call me along, Angelia. <laughs> I also want to go to the uh, matcha azuki cake party. You all will make the cake, okay? Then I uh, invite me along, huh? Very white, right? Thank you, Angelia. 
Remember, cream should be cold huh, when you process. For the for the sponge to cool down, uh, we have done the cream. Now I go and collect the sponge and see uh, how how uh, how cool down it is. Okay, it's cooled down already. So I'm going to cut the cake. Okay. So for this recipe, for this recipe, you get uh, two pieces of a uh, small cake. But if you want to have a, a big cake like this for your party, uh, remember to invite me along. <laughs> okay, so if you want to have a cake like this, so uh, like this piece, you need three pieces because it's three layer. I'm going to cut this into three layer. Okay. Just, just a little. Cut into three layers, then we stack up. It's about 33 inches uh, cm so i'm going to cut 11 cm one piece one piece 11 cm three pieces here You need a cake board. 
Okay, I use a kickboard. See, uh, this is a turn table. So I use a kickboard. Then later on, we're going to put it on here. Then we can we can uh, spread the cream. So how do you spread the cream? Uh, we spread the cream by putting into a packing bag. Yeah, we don't take much. Then it won't be, uh, won't be so messy. Yeah? Yeah, please share, please please like and share the the page the uh, Creta I W E C, and then please help to share, and then you get more uh, engagement. Okay, so we put inside the packing bag. the side okay like this then you pipe inside this bean either this bean or this bean yeah either one so I put this today I spread them I have balance of uh, both beans so I'm going to use both in two layer So this is the first layer, first layer, okay, you can see, yeah, first layer, and then you put in another layer, okay, just give a small press, and then top with the second layer, okay. Same thing, we, we pipe the outside first. You notice I didn't press a uh, pipe all the way out because later I want to cut away the side.
key is uh, is, is with the WC. So they say they're going to close it. Okay. Okay. So we pipe it. Then we talk with the Azuki bin again. You do piping like that, much easier than you will apply. Yeah. Okay. Second layer. Ayah, I forgot my my bean. Ayo. It's okay. Okay, my pin. I use two different kind of pin because uh, it's up to you. This one is because uh, I have a lot of balance here. This kidney pin also quite nice. two pieces okay just press down because this bin is bigger yep Press down a bit. Press down a bit. Okay. Okay. So the last part. The last part you also uh pipe. So the recipe put uh, 200, uh, 350 gram of whipped cream uh, but I only use 180 only. You know? Because we are doing a smaller, smaller cake. to just flatten it You can use a spatula if let's say you cannot handle you can use you can use uh, this one this one just a flat something flat you just flip through okay. See? straight already so later 
on, this part will cut away. Both, both here. If we want the to to be nearer, then you you put more cream. You put more cream, then you cut cut out lesser. If you want to cut inner, then then you don't need to fill up. You fill up. Always use a, a clean uh, the spatula, clean up your spatula. If not, uh, uh, it's going to be more and more messy. design that you want to do you can always use this piping bag to pipe pipe and then dust with the the green tea powder but today uh, i'm going to use a stencil i'll teach you how to use a stencil so uh, but because the cream is very soft so you cannot use the stencil like this it's going to stick i'm going to show you the stencil huh? okay these are the stencil that we use yeah stencil you can have uh, many many different design stencil you can buy this stencil from uh, those bakery shop deco shop i don't know if pun has or not if not then you can try try a uh, baking or see you have many different kind of stencil see all very nice stencil we can have a uh, a leopard or you can have tiger no, zebra <laughs> uh, then this is the flower or you can even have a uh, uh, like birthday birthday uh, balloon butterfly or oh, this one is sweet yeah so i chose this because it's more look like more japanese kind of look then uh, this kind of stencil also not too expensive now. And this is celebrate. Yeah, have a dot. What is this? Can anybody tell me what is this? Anybody tell me what is this? Ah. Okay, this is Hello Kitty. Hello Kitty, yeah. So I want to teach you how to do the stencil. So you see, this stencil, oh, you need to put it on the cake. But if you put it on the cake, what's going to happen to the cream? The cream will stick out, right? The, the, because the cream is very soft now. So uh, if you want to have this kind of design, uh, you need to freeze the cake. You need to freeze it until it's hardened. Then you put it on, on then the, the cream will stick to your stencil. Uh, but if you don't want, if you don't want, you can put on a piping tip and then you just pipe design. And then just like the second second picture um, in the poster, they pipe some cream and then you just put some fruits on it. Yeah. So, but today I, because that one is more, uh, much easier. This one I will teach you how to do the stencil. Okay. This one. Okay. Because stencil has got, uh, you see, uh, stencil has got two ear for you to take, lift up. Baking time is about 10 minutes, 10 minutes to the sponge because the sponge is very thin. 
So uh, baking time is 10 minutes. Then about 10, 10, 10 minutes plus minus is okay. So we're talking about the, the stencil, right? Yeah. Uh, let me show you the stencil which is not modified one. The stencil not modified, yeah. Uh, is something something has got two ear, but if you uh see this one has one ear, uh, this one got two ear. See got two ear. Yeah, here got ear, here got ear. And this one has got one ear. Yeah. If I put the whole thing up here, then when you stencil out, it will be one round and with the two ear. So what I did is, uh, how I modified is I, I fold it up. This one can see clear. See I, I fold. I fold up. Hmm? Yeah, see, I fold here. Then I put a scotch tape. Why I put a scotch tape? You see, uh, I fold up here. So when you put your green tea. It doesn't have these two ear coming out, first thing. Second thing is, I put this scotch tape is for me to easy. To easy, leave it up later. If not, uh, too, too near is very difficult. So, you put scotch tape. You put two scotch tape. And then, you just leave up. After you throw, you put in your green tea powder. Okay, so okay, let's start. I'm going to freeze this up. This is the frozen one. This is the frozen one. I'm going to cut, cut them. Okay. So this part, I don't want. So I cut away. See when I frozen it, when you cut, it looks very nice. If you don't, if you don't freeze up, you cut right. Sometimes, uh, sometimes the, the the cream will go all over the place. Always use a clean knife and use and use a saw knife. So flat, straight. Okay, then we cut into two. It's very frozen. Use a sieve, yeah. Use a sieve. Okay. 
aquí. Uh, put in the freezer for how long? Eh? You put in the freezer until it's hardened. So on top hardened, then easier for you. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is just leave up. See, that's why I put I put scotch tape uh, to the two ear. If you don't put scotch tape, but it's too low to, to leave it up. Can you see from the... Okay, I'm going to put one more. Let's do one more. One more. Two. Let's do two. Very nice uh, green tea smell. You cannot smell, right? You can smell. So you must make, then you can smell. Okay, we're done. Yay! We're done. I clear this. Okay, for your info, if you are using the the bean, uh, this bean, uh, this uh, kacang merah, if it's frozen, right? If it's, if it's frozen, then when you cut the thumb, you have to be very careful because the bean is too big, then it becomes uh, hard to cut. Uh, if you are using the azuki bean, the, the red bean is not so bad. But uh, because this one, I have used the big bean, so uh, this side is not very nice. So I'm going to tidy up. Very nice, huh? Are you also nice? <laughs> and this one? Okay. Like this? Okay. This a flower. Yeah, just a moment. Okay. So Okay, so you see the cake, uh, so you can display your cake like this. Um, if it's not a very big family or if, if it's not a very big uh, party, I think one tray, uh, one of the tray, yeah. one tray like this will get you 
two pieces of this like this. Okay. So uh, for you for your close up, yes, yes. For your close up to see ya. Okay. Like this. Yeah. See, the bean is frozen. So later we have to thaw it before we eat. So this is the display. Like this. Okay. So we have uh, finished our matcha azuki cake. Hope you all uh, will like it. And once again, uh, thank you for watching. And thank you, uh, Krita I C C W E C. Yeah. Thank you and hope to see you all again. Yeah. Uh, please go home and try or I hope you try it's not that difficult okay thank you very much thank you for watching thank you bye bye